Hi, welcome back. In this episode, in the series of how to convert your website into Android and iOS app, we are going to learn how to implement the progress indicator. Okay, so in our previous um, episode, we that's the episode three, we implemented the pull to refresh. Okay, so that's the pull to refresh right there. All right, so in this episode, that's the episode four. Um, we are going to learn how to implement the progress indicator. All right, so if you haven't watched the episode um, one to three, I'm going to add the playlist link in this video description. Okay, so that you can go watch that so that um, you can you know be able to follow alongside the tutorial. Okay. So what we are going to do now is that uh, we are going to start coding. All right, so I'm going to scroll down. All right, so here where we have our in-app web view, I'm going to highlight it. And then we are going to wrap this with a column. Okay, so just highlight it, just uh, click on it twice like this. And then you're going to see this icon click on it and then you would need to wrap with column okay so click on this all right so you're going to have this and then where we have the column we would need to change that that to a stack okay so you would need to change that to a stack all right so once you have done that the next thing for you to do is to you know click where we have the in app web view this okay so just click somewhere here press enter key on your keyboard okay so now we would need to say visibility and then under the child property um we are going to use the circular progress indicator okay so um now I'm going to open and close that bracket and then I'm going to put a comma somewhere here. Okay, so right inside this bracket, I'm going to press enter key on my keyboard. And then what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to say value color. We would need to use this property, value color. Then we're going to say always stop animation okay so inside this bracket we are going to say colors dot blue all right so for this you would need to use the color that correspond to your app okay so for the purpose of this demo we have decided to use uh blue okay all right so here i'm just going to click somewhere here and try to format the code don't bother about this line. We are going to fix it. Probably we are going to add a const somewhere. So if you hover over it, you say add const modifier. So just click on it. All right. So that line is going to disappear. Okay. So if we let me save it. Yeah. So you see the progress indicator somewhere here on the uploading so it's going to keep loading okay because we haven't there's something that we're going to do to uh, you know stop it from loading okay so if the page has finished loading all right so what i'm going to do next so what i'm going to do next is that uh, i'm going to scroll up like this i'm going to declare a variable okay so right inside the var initial url i'm going to press enter then i'm going to say var is loading so i'm going to set this to false it's going to be false okay so it's going to be false and then right inside the visibility so where we have I'm going to scroll down like this 
I'm going to scroll down and then here I'm going to say this visible and then it's going to be is loading okay all right so we have this error um, under it so I'm just going to take out this constant so just highlight the constant and delete it okay so I have another one down here so probably to be asking me to add a const somewhere so just hover your mouse over it and then click on add const okay all right so once you once i save it right now that then that progress bar loading continuously is going to stop loading because the page has already finished loading okay before now so i'm going to save it once i save it and then that uh, progress indicator loading is going to stop okay all right so um what we are going to do next so what we are going to do next is that uh, we are going to um add the we already have on page stop right here okay so if the page has finished loading that's on sorry on load stop okay so we are going to set states just inside the on load stop we are going to say set states all right so um right inside the set state we are going to say is loading equal to force okay so so once the page has finished loading the progress indicator okay should also stop loading all right so that's why we have this on load stop just do what i have done okay so we are going to add another on load start okay so once the page starts loading all right the progress indicator should load and then once it finish loading the progress indicator should stop loading all right so that is the idea all right so here we are going to say on on load starts okay so on load start is going to be controller okay and then comma url and then just outside just open and you know close sorry uh just open and close these coily braces okay with um with a comma right there okay all right so sorry let's do this again all right so we are going to add the on load stats so just start typing on on load stats and then it's going to be a bracket and then right inside the bracket we are going to say controller and then comma url okay so just open and close this coily braces like this with a comma and then right inside the coily braces you hit the enter key on your keyboard okay so just right there you say set state all right so right inside the set state we are going to say is loading equal to this okay so what this means is that uh, um, once the app start loading okay the progress indicator okay should display all right so which means the progress indicator will start loading okay so on load stop the progress indicator will stop you know loading so that's the idea and then um, I'm going to try and pull to refresh. Okay, so see the progress indicator somewhere there. Okay, so we want it to appear somewhere here. Okay, just right in the middle. So we are going to go to where we have our stack. Then here we are going to say um, alignment. And then it's going to be alignment.center okay so save so if i 
pull again to refresh you have the progress indicator okay so let's stop the app let's see when um, from when it's loading so we would need to see from when the app is loading okay so we should have the progress indicator somewhere in the middle on load starts it should start loading and then on load stop when the app um, has stopped loading the progress indicator should also stop loading okay so let's see i'll show you how to change this um, filter icon okay in our next episode so that's the progress indicator seat loading so once the app has finished loading it also um, stops okay so which means um, it's working perfectly well but we would need to do um, one additional thing okay so let me pull to refresh so it's loading we would, we would we would need to reduce the loading time okay so but if you're okay with this and then why not um it's fine but if you're not um i'm going to show you one more thing okay that you would need to implement all right to make this perfect okay so we are going to add the on progress change property okay so right inside just right below the on load stop we are going to add the um we are going to add the we are going to add the um on progress change so here is going to be on progress change and then inside the bracket is going to be a controller okay so um sorry it's going to be a controller then comma progress okay so right outside this uh, bracket i'm going to open and then close that coil braces all right so here i'm going to set states let me close this guy i'm going to set states then right inside there i'm going to say this dot progress uh equal to progress then divide by 100 okay all right so um we are going to check if progress is, is equal to 100 and then we are going to um end the refresh controller we are going to end refreshing okay so here we are going to say if progress is equal to 100 okay just right outside the bracket open this curly braces and it will um, close by itself so yeah you're, you are going to say um refresh controller then dot and refreshing that is it so guys uh if you're still with me on this uh if you're still watching this video up to this point um just give yourself a thumb up because you're doing great okay you're doing very well well done so now i have saved this walk so we are going to pull and refresh to check the okay okay so it's still loading um the way it was loading okay so we are going to do one more thing all right i'm going to scroll down just like this and then right inside the circular progress indicator i'm going to press enter key on my keyboard there yeah i'm going to say value then it's going to be that property we're going to set it to progress okay so it wants me to take out this costs i'm going to do that then it wants me to add the const somewhere just hover your mouse and then click on add const modifier it's going to add that you save it okay so let's pull and refresh okay so let's stop the app like this all right so let's uh, run it again Right, so we have the progress indicator see how it's loading 
yes that is how i want it to load this is how to implement the or how to add the progress indicator in your web view app okay so as i said before um this is the episode four in the series of how to convert your wordpress website or your website um, to android and ios app um, i'm going to leave a link in the video description and um, that's for the uh, playlist in that playlist we have the previous uh episodes that's episode one to three so this episode is the number f uh the fourth episode okay that we that uh, that we have done okay i would advise you to go watch that video watch the full episode because if you watch the full um, episode it's going to help you you know understand what we have done okay um previously okay so all of these codes and code you see here um it's from those episodes that's why i encourage you to go um start from there okay before you get to this so that you get full understanding of what we have done okay guys if you're still watching this video and if you like the video please click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click on the subscribe button you can also turn on the notification bell so that once we you know publish videos like this you can get a notification thank you so much for watching so in our next episodes we are going to um learn how to you know add our um app icon okay so that icon that you see um on your home screen okay and the splash screen uh 